What's up guys? Back at it again with another uh, Blu-ray hunting video. This time I got the whole crew here. All of us? That's me. Hey, Familia. That's this guy right here. Where are we at? You know, we're in Cali, uh, and we're gonna be checking out one of my favorite spots to, uh, you know, find some used Blu-rays. This is Atomic Records in Burbank. I know Filmies has been here. Maybe you guys have been here? I don't know. No, we, we were, we came to this spot one time, like a year ago. We did not go to uh, Atomic Records, so. Um, it's got some good, uh, not commonly seen stuff. You got some yeah. Kubrick snags last time you were here? Yeah, us? actually last time we were here, he got Stan, or what was Barry it? Linden. Barry Linden, I got Lolita. Like I said, they've got some uh, not commonly seen things in here. For Big Mama's prices. house. Yeah. Ooh. Something for everything. That's a for commonly found everything. one because nobody Seven wants percent. it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, whatever. So Let's we'll be, do it. Let's head in there. Yeah. Things actually, I can't grab them. So there. Ah, I got a couple. I got a couple. Yeah. It's such a weird spot. Like there's no aisle to yeah. look and check so out. Anything good, Seth? Yeah, a real classic. That could have been mine. Three ninety nine. Not bad. Not bad. All right, guys, we are back in the car from Atomic Records. What'd you guys think of it? Um. Really retro kind of record shop feel. It's got that smell. You walk in, it smells like a garage sale or something. Yeah, exactly. They had that going on. Um, decent Blu-ray selection. Really narrow, weird. Like you couldn't move around yeah. in there. It was, almost, right. it was almost like they were just moving in because there were boxes. Yeah, that's around. always how it is there too. Yeah, yeah the, it was the prices were pretty solid, but you know the, the selection just wasn't really there. Yeah, me. not a whole lot of titles. We did walk out with a few things, so stay tuned. Okay, so we are back from Atomic Records. Uh, we're gonna go one by one and kind of show you what we picked up. Two titles uh, that I, I thought I should, you know, pick up. One was Cyrus. So this is a Duplass, I think, Productions, right? Yep. The brothers directed that one. That was one of their studio ones that they got to make. So yeah, Seth said it was good, and I, I've heard thing, good yeah. things about it. Solid. Solid. Yeah. yeah that's, that's one of those one class words. That, solid. That's yeah. one of the ones they have production problems on. Like when they went to make a studio movie and had to work out with an actress like Marissa Tomei, and they tried to get her to improv. Yeah. Oh, and you know, there was like big, big issues yeah. during the production. Well, think, Jonah you know. Hill is creepy in that fucking movie, and okay. it's very spooky. I mean, movie. I figure, I figure for five bucks, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I like all the John C. Riley, Jonah Hill, Marissa Tomei. I got Jack about. Keener. I got about five years ago. I watched it once. I went back, but you know. <laughs> okay, well, that, five that bucks. One, well, that one watch was one dollar a year. So there we go. They had a couple copies of it there so that, yeah that didn't tell you so pick Cyrus up and then I found uh, this film I'd never even heard of it it's uh, love me or leave me it's Doris Day uh, I looked it up on eBay it goes for like 25 bucks and it was 13 sealed here so um, the main reason why I got it I like Doris Day uh, James Cagney's in it too and it's in CinemaScope which is kind of cool um, but yes yeah, so I kind of give that one a chance half oh. up but yeah cool pickups homie thanks bud can't wait to get to yours <laughs> Hope you're, hope you're excited out there. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I picked up three things. Uh, they always have a decent selection. Like I said, some stuff that you don't usually see. The first thing here is uh, Adam McGraw and Ryan O'Neill. Uh, Ryan O'Neill, the guy who played Barry Lyndon, which is a fantastic movie. But I've heard some, some decent things. I mean, it was nominated for seven Oscars. You ever watch anything post-1970? No. <laughs> there's actually, one in there. This is actually 1970. There's one, there's one film 1970. There. That's about as modern as he gets. But I mean, I know it's got a pretty depressing ending. Sounds pretty good. Uh, speaking of 
pre-1970. The Unsinkable Molly Brown, starring Debbie Reynolds. Oh. Uh, only seen her in a couple things. Halloween Town. Oh, and, that, uh, that's a chip. And singing, singing in the Rain. She's I, one of the classic... Is Titanic stuff or no? Yeah, no. it is actually. Yeah. It's when yeah. she comes back from the Titanic. No, she's Kate one of the classic Bates. talents. Yeah. Yeah, she is. And she's actually Carrie Fisher's mother. Ah, there you go. Didn't know that. There you go. Learned whoop something de, whoop new. whoop de doo And then a pretty decent political thriller, uh, The Ides of March. Love me some. Uh, I like that one. Ryan mm -hmm. Gosling. George Clooney director, right? Yeah, he yeah. did. Ryan He's Gosling done. in a political movie. Ryan Gosling in anything. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm no. rushing out to watch that one. Well, nobody asked for today. <laughs> my channel. Why don't my we, rules. Why don't we talk about what you picked up then? You know, these guys had some good stuff. I unfortunately can't match that. Um, I'm actually embarrassed to show this, but you know, it was $3.99. We were talking about these uh, directors earlier. This is a classic from the Farrelly Brothers. That's what are right. they? Yeah. Peter Rally. and Bobby? Rally. Is that the yeah, name? I think you're right. Peter yeah. and Bobby, not Peter and Bobby. But yeah. <laughs> Peter and Bobby Farrelly? Farley? Bobby's Farley? Peter. Me, myself, Farrell. and Irene. This was a three ninety nine pickup, you know. This was kind of a cheapskate Blu-ray hunting for your boy here. You know something, though? Um, I like you What is here. Battleship? <laughs> hey, we're playing Jeopardy over here. Um, Dumb and Dumber, one of my favorite comedies ever. That's a Farrelly Brothers movie with Jim Carrey. So you know what? I've heard some things about this. I don't know. I'll give it a shot, Jim Carrey. I'm not expecting much. But you know what? Four bucks. Whatever. Maybe some uh, some good laughs. So I know some people like this. That's it, though. Not too exciting. Yeah, and I had the, sh my, the shadow of my hand on that Blu-ray right before you grabbed it, you know? No. Stepped right in line, took it, snatched it right no, out of the No, you're on the other side. I thought one of you gave it to the other. I, yeah. Well, I was... was no, he was about to hand it to me, and then he was Indian giver. You, no, <laughs> you, you can't... You can't be Sacrilege. No, I, well, you know what? I want to pick it up, so... Cool. I wanted it that badly. I wanted it that badly. Where where was this for? Atomic? Atomic Records. Yeah, interesting place. You know, I know we talked about it earlier when we got out of there. Um, very small selection. Yeah, yeah. Very compact store. Like I said, it smells like a garage sale, but I like that. It had a good vibe to it. Could have been the people in there. Yeah, yeah. probably. You know, with places like that, I've said it many Skipper times. behind the register. The excitement is you don't know what you're going to come across. You don't know who was there the day before trading shit in. So sure. um, we worked out with a few things. What do you get? Three, two, you know, yeah, so... Interesting. Three, uh... Yeah. We did all right. Um, that does it for this Blu-ray hunting. Stay tuned for more videos. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Cinema Scumbags. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know down below what you think of any of these uh, movies we picked up. Like. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.